Good afternoon guys. I thought I'd talk about one of my uh, car boot finds from yesterday. This is a uh, scanner radio. It's got public service band written on the front there and the make is a King Sonic. Uh, it's got AM, FM, Air, PB and WB um, air bands on it. Radio waves, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it came with a good battery. I do have to somehow secure this back on because it does pop off. I'm guessing it got dropped at some point. Uh, and my stepdad did have to do a small repair on it. Let's pop the aerial down. So I can lay it down. Move my glass out of the way because I'm I'm doing this at my computer desk because it's only a small item. Yeah, see the back just pops off even though it's got two screw holes, but they're broken. So I'm not going to take the whole board out, but here's a quick glance at the gubbins inside it. All that old school stuff. There's the nine volt battery and. This little white wire right by my finger is a new wire, it's a brand new wire we put in. Because the original wire, which was purple, like this one, I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera, but this one right at the end of my finger is purple. Well, sort of a lilac-y colour. Um, had popped off from the earphone socket, and that went from the earphone socket to the speaker. So I wasn't getting any sound out of it. Um... He tried to solder the original wire on, but the solder wouldn't take to the wire. It just kept sliding straight off. So I'm not a soldering expert, but I thought maybe the wire was too dry or something. I'm not sure how soldering really works, but it wouldn't stick. So he just got a piece of wire out of his uh, model railway stuff, and we whacked in a new little bit of wire. Now it works. It's got the selector switch on the back. It's on air at the moment, then middle is FM, and then we've got AM. Um, I have picked up, I believe it was an aeroplane last night, or an aeroplane talking to control, and I think that was Luton Airport, somewhere in that region. It has two sort of, I don't know what you call them, wheels? Roller wheels or what? Some you know. That's on and volume, and that's your tuner. And then the only two jacks it's got is a DC nine volt jack and an earphone jack. Apart from that, it's quite a simple device. I think. Okay, well, I don't know whether I don't want to glue the back back on. This screw hole is actually fine, so I might see if I can get that screw out, even though the screw is um the screw head has been badly damaged. If not, I don't want to glue it on in case I've ever got to take it apart for repairs. But I do have some black PVC tape that I could just wrap around the joint around this edge. Obviously not where the volume control is and the on switches. Just enough to hold that back on. I mean it sits on there well enough, so I can move it around but I don't want it to accidentally fall off, and then the back fall off, and the battery falls out, and... Oh, I'd rather avoid that if I can. Uh, I haven't found any date code on it. There's nothing inside with any date on it. So I don't know when it was manufactured, but... Going by the style... And the style of the um, electronics inside, I would have to say 70s. At a guess. Um, it was built in Hong Kong, apparently. Uh, ah, there is a model number, so maybe I can Google it and find a bit more info on it. King Sonic model number D-3158A. Should we type that into Google, as I've got... As I'm at the computer desk, I might as well. So, it was a King... Sonic 
Oh, it looks like King Sonic still exists because it's coming up with home theatre. <laughs> I don't want home theatre. Uh, D... D dash... 3158... Aye, it's 5 isn't it? 3158... Whoops, that was a 9, not an 8. 8... Aye. Search. Huh. I've typed it in, I've come up with loads of things that aren't related to it. I don't know, should we try, I don't know, is it a radio, scanner, I don't know what the class has. Radio, maybe? <laughs> oh, it's got jazz radio, zoom radio, King Sonic at Amazon. Right. <laughs> this receiver complies as of date of manufacture with FCC rules and regulations part 15 subpart C it doesn't give you the manufacture date unless I've missed it somewhere now I've got the, no, there we go, I've got the back stuck on it no there's nothing on the back panel, it's just blank the battery is a new Panasonic battery I don't like Panasonic batteries, they don't seem to last very long. Newer ones aren't too bad. I've got a light in the wardrobe before AA Panasonic batteries in, they've already gone dead and I haven't used it. That's why I'm not a lover of um, Panasonic batteries, I'm afraid. Ah, I'm just going to put you down again so I can type with two hands. Try the initials PSB, Public Service Band. No, nope, that didn't come up with anything at all. Right. Well, I'll try it on the scan. No, nope, come up with multifunction laser printers. <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind. Uh, um, I don't think that's a laser printer somehow. Oh, I'm lost then. I may, um, when I've got a bit of time, I'll go into it a bit deeper and see if I can find any. I actually think I love this old stuff. I could probably get into collecting old radios from this era, era the 70s era, but uh, I haven't got the room. <laughs> And there was another old radio at the car boot, which was like a lot, you know, four times bigger than this thing. And I don't see the point on having the um, air band on it though, because that's what picks up on um, your ship's public band, which I'm, I assume that's what PB stands for. What's well, got written down there? PSB. You can, no, it's not going to focus on it. See. It doesn't focus. It's got public service band written on it as well. Then it's got WB. I don't know what WB is. But I know air. See, I've got that tuner set there because I was picking up an aeroplane of some sort last night. You don't really hear anything interesting. You know, they're just, just the general communications with control. You know, giving them their flight level and location and whatnot, so... I don't really see the point of these things. I've had some in the past, many years ago, back in the late 1990s I had one. I think it must have been 1998, 1999. don't know whatever happened to that. I had two, actually. I don't know what happened to them. I must have got left behind or thrown out or something in the many house moves. Anyway, on one of my old ones, I used to be able to pick up the police. Faintly, but I could pick it up. You can't do that nowadays because they've changed all the frequencies. So you can't do it now. <laughs> but years ago you could. <laughs> I remember li um, listening to a police chase live on the scanner. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. It's actually illegal to do that. 
but I was a kid at the time, and I, well, I still have an interest in the emergency services, but I wouldn't do that now. Well, I can't do that now because they changed the frequency, so you can't pick them up. Well, I suppose, I suppose, that's not a bad thing, really, because it keeps things private. You know, their radio conversations aren't meant for public knowledge, are they? And uh, as an adult, I've got more respect for that now. You know, as a kid, you don't really... You're too naive as a kid. Some people stay naive when they become an adult, so... <laughs> but yeah, that's my little uh, scanner radio. Which is probably one of my new, new favourite electronic devices I've got. So I do like the old technology. I don't like... Well, I was going to say I don't like the modern crap, but it's not modern crap, really, is it? That would have been a wrong term of phrase, really. Wrong term of phrase? Am I even speaking English at the minute? No, I don't think, um... Modern crap would be the correct term. I'm, I don't know. Maybe in, like, 20 years' time, I'll probably think different on the stuff we've got around now. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, at the moment, I'm, I just prefer older stuff like this. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's before I was born or even thought of. No, I just like old tech like this. So I've got this. I've got the old... Um, pardon me. Zenith laptop under there. Zenith data systems. I wouldn't mind getting that fixed. But uh, I need to do some research and find out if I can find... Or if there's a way I could find out which memory module has failed because they're all soldered on that board. They're all soldered on. So I don't know if it's just one chip that's packed up and causing the problem, or if the whole lot has gone, or even if I'd be able to even replace them, to be honest. So... Because I know someone who can solder once he's fixed his soldering on, because the um, tip gave out on him last night. That's my stepdad. He was trying to fix my sister's iPhone charger and the tip just went. It's not transferring the heat to the um, desired object. So you need a new tip for it. Um, buh -buh -buh -buh. I have got soldering iron in here. I might let him use because I don't use it. So I've got two up there. Sold one of my old ones at a car boot for 50p. <laughs> didn't know, I wanted to get rid of it, you know, and I just didn't know what to charge for. And I know you can get soldering arms like the one I sold cheap enough new. So I just threw it in the box of 50p bits. <laughs> Which actually seemed to be a good idea. Perhaps I should go into trading like that, because my ideas do seem to work. So I threw, put a box out full of random stuff. Stuck a couple of stickers on it saying 50p. That seemed to have, It was getting people rummage at least, and we did sell a few things from it, so... Anyway, that's not what this video is about. I've got a bit sidetracked there. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, I do like this little toy. I only needed one little repair. I can't use it as a portable radio, because I can pick up FM and AM on it, although... These days, AM isn't really used. I did pick up a station on this yesterday, when I was playing with it. But uh, I think one station I managed to find. suppose that depends where you are as well. Um, I did pick up a radio station on the airband as well, which I was surprised, because I didn't think any radio stations would uh, broadcast on that band. I know it's like one of these pirate radio stations. <laughs> um, I haven't really tried FM yet. So that's something I can try later. You've only got your single spit. It's quite boxy. No, it's just a box. It's a box with a few things stuck on it, like a speaker, the, dis the um, tuner display, and a couple of buttons. Or rollers, or wheels, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know their real name, to be honest. I'm not going to um, tune in a radio, because if I plan music, I could get flagged up as copyright. I've never done so yet since I've started doing these videos, but I've seen many YouTubers who have. 
because I've had like a snippet of radio music in the background and YouTube's detector has detected it and flagged it up as copyright. Anyway, that's it for this video. My little scanner toy. I don't know much about old electronics. All I know is I've got a few toys. I've got this is one of my favourites. Again, it was a car boot find. My little 1979 Casio personal M1 electronic calculator with a, um, a vacuum fluorescent display. Uh, I've got rechargeable batteries in. They've been in there months. They've held charge really, really well. I do use this calculator from time to time. The only thing I had to do was clean up the um, battery contacts a little bit because they would got a bit dirty. The battery had just started to leak over them, but I got to it just in time, I think. Apart from that calculator, that radio, and that Dragon 32 computer I forgot about, which I still don't know if it works because I can't find a, an adapter. I'd rather borrow an adapter because I don't want to go out spending money on that because I know an, a proper power adapter, if I can find one, won't be cheap. Um, I don't want to go spending lots and lots of money on it just to find it doesn't work. So if I could find a way to power it up, I've got a um, cable for it because the cable that fits the Mega Drive is identical to the one on the Dragon 32. <laughs> So I can just pinch it off of that to try it and connect it to um, probably the CRT TV actually. I don't think that'd go through that. I don't know if it's just that TV, but that TV doesn't seem to like old technology. I don't know if there's a setting that's wrong on it that I don't know how to change or what. But yeah, but that Dragon 32 computer is missing its uh, power supply. I paid one pound for a junk shop, so it doesn't work, I'm not really worried about losing a pound, you know, that's kids' pocket money. <laughs> so, that's it for this video. I hope you like my little talk and show on the um, King Sonic radio, portable radio. I suppose that would be its proper name, a portable radio. Um, so, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And I'll talk to you again in the next video, so bye.